seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars, and all for the sale of a bunch of vulgar modern paintings that pass as art. <laughs> Value zero. For a genuine Harry S. Kleinsworthy the third. My dear sir. And knock it off, Steindorf. The only thing you know about art is scrawling on subway posters. Jody. Jody Madden. In poison. Well, it's a nice little racket you got here. But, Jody, what a surprise. I thought you were... You thought I was still in the state pen. Yeah, but all good things come to an end, you know. And here I am, buying pictures. I didn't know you liked pictures, Jody. Well, so now you know. I got converted, see, by your friend and mine, the late Bud Hasler. Hasler? Quite an artist, wasn't he? When it came to painting dollar bills. And before he passed away in the pen, he told me where I could find the model he used. But he only painted landscapes. As a matter of fact, I just sold one. Uh, called, um, Mexican Plane. You sold Mexican Plane? Yes. It surprised me, too, finding someone fool enough to buy such worthless trash. How could you be fool enough to sell? But, Jody, I... That painting of a certain Mexican Plane shows the exact spot where Hasler buried the counterfeit plates. Oh, no. I tell you, yeah. Now, quick, who bought it? A uh, Dr. H. Beaker of Black Rock. Uh, will he let us have it, do you suppose? He'd better. Or we may have to play it another way. Beginning to look a bit shabby, isn't she, Professor? Gee, I don't see anything wrong, Professor. It's not so bad as to be obvious, Jimmy, but as Mike says, the gloss is fading. We'll have to do something about it, Professor. Can't keep giving her a facelift every other week. Suppose there's an emergency, and here we are, waiting for the paint to dry. I wonder. Since the fading is due to excessive exposure to the rays of the sun, perhaps we should try a filter varnish. How would that help, Professor? Well, by cutting out most of the ultraviolet. I say, Professor, uh, Mike. Uh, yes, Dr. Baker? Uh, can you spare a minute? I have something uh, remarkable here in the way of a painting. Trust Doc. He's been working on our problem before we even knew we had one. We'll be right there, Doctor. <laughs> Well, now, uh, uh, seriously, what do you think of it? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, come now. You're just saying that. You need to uh, uh, consider it as a whole. <laughs> Take another look, my dear chap. Uh, does it not strike you as a uh, fulfillment? <laughs> oh, I, I must say, Mitch, I am disappointed in you. Obviously, you know uh, nothing about art. Uh, Mitch, Mitch, uh, bless my soul, he's gone. He just lit off after Jimmy. Have you been scaring him with your experiments, Doc? No, uh, just my painting. This? This is your painting? Certainly. Well, now, and I quote, who's a fool? Looks like we were building our hopes too high, Professor. Uh, but, uh, wait. Uh, stop! Uh, where are you off to? Sorry, Doc, we got a job to do. Without even looking at my picture? And it's a genuine... Uh, where's the signature now? Uh, yes, a genuine Hasler. Very nice. A Hasler? Uh-huh. So? But have you no soul? Uh, can you not spare the time to stand there and uh, inhale its beauty? Oh, I've inhaled okay. And I think it stinks. All right, scoff if you like. But here in this antiseptic and mechanical atmosphere, I intend to keep alight the, uh, the beacon of culture. Good for you, Doc. But meanwhile, we've got some serious painting to do. Serious? I'll say it's serious. The hours I sat in my cell just waiting for the day I could get out and lay my hands on that picture. And what do I find? You sold it. But uh, you don't appreciate the temptation. Someone with money to spend and no knowledge of art. Oh, 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 it's a dream come true. Well, suppose you quit dreaming and think up how we can get that Hasler back. Of course, I, I'm just waiting for... Ah, Steindorf Art Galleries. Steindorf speaks. The number you require is Black Rock One. One? Are you sure? Repeat, Black Rock One. That is the only subscriber in the area. Very well. Thank you. Maybe he's a hermit or something. Anyway, if he lives on his lonesome. 
It'll be chicken feed to go out there and grab it off him. You mean steal it? Now, is that screwed right down, Jimmy? It has to be absolutely airtight. I think it's okay, Professor. Then let's proceed to a test. Ready to switch on, Mike? Switching on now. Charging nicely. Are we ready to fire? I beg your pardon, Mike. Well, you seem to be running it like a serious scientific test. All right, then. Firing one now. Fine. It works. As Doc would say, satisfactory. Most satisfactory. <laughs> well, I think we are ready to have a go at Supercar. It will be a slow job, I'm afraid, because we have to be sure of covering every inch of the paint work. Here's the phone, Professor. What? What? Was it? Uh, where? It's okay. It was Dr. Beaker's phone. And don't point that thing at me, Professor. It might go off. <laughs> uh, now, let me get this up uh, straight, Mr. Steindorf. Uh, first, you tell me the painting is worth four times what I paid you. And now you telephone to say you made a mistake. But you see, I thought it was a genuine Hasler. And now I find that it is a fake. A mere copy. Is he swallowing it? I think so. You paid 90 for it. I will offer you, uh, to cover your expenses, say, uh, 110, 120. And I fear you're wasting your uh, time, Mr. Steindorf. Yes, yes, it is possible it is a fake. But it must be a very good fake or it would not uh, uh, command the price you are asking. Who knows, in time it may be worth more than a, a genuine Hassler. May it not. How's it coming along, Mike? Okay, Professor. I've almost finished this side. The level in the jar is right down. Will you fetch another from the outside lab, Jimmy? Okay, Professor. There's one prepared on the bench, inside the door. That's it, Professor. We're running dry. And since we are taking a breather, what do you say we go see what the great art critic is up to? Yes. Uh, now, the question we ask ourselves is, why? Why is Mr. Steindorf so anxious to regain possession of this landscape? I wonder, could it really be an old master? An early Van Gogh, perhaps? Oh, I don't think so, because... Stenciled on the back of the canvas here, quite clearly, is the inscription supplied by Wedderburn and Sons, Chicago, 1929. Must have got around a bit, this Van Gogh, both in time and space. <laughs> well, it may seem humorous, but it is also curious. That's most curious. Steindorf must have some reason for wanting the picture. <laughs> well... Perhaps the canvas has been used before. Perhaps your Mexican plane has been painted over a Grandma Moses. Of course. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, come on, Doc. Grandma Moses wasn't painting in 1929. Nevertheless, the professor has given me an idea. There may indeed be another painting beneath this one. And if so, with the aid of a little... Mm, uh, infrared investigation. We shall uh, discover it. Now, uh, where did I put my uh, photographic equipment? Might as well leave it to him, Professor. You know what the doc's like when he gets an idea. So much for your big idea. Where did it get us? Well, how was I to know he turned down more than a hundred dollars? Yeah, but that's just the point. Your offer scared him off. Anyway, you can save your dough. Because we're gonna get it for nothing. You don't still mean to steal it. You got a better idea? Are you sure you can do it? With you along to identify it, yeah. Me, but Jodia. I've never seen the thing, remember? And I'd hate to grab a painting of Miami Beach instead. Don't flop. It'll be a cinch. This is not going to be easy. Makeshift apparatus. <laughs> Infrared plate in camera, flood lighting satisfactory, developer, fixer. Are we ready then? <laughs> in which case, take one. Ah, very satisfactory. 
Most, most satisfactory. Hey, Doc, do you mind if I switch on? No, no, please. No, no one, no account. No, no, just a minute. Ah, uh, now then, uh, what is it, Mike? Nothing special. Just wondered how you were getting on. But I thought you weren't interested. That was before you borrowed the spray gun. Oh, my dear fellow, I quite forgot. Uh, you shall have it back almost immediately. I merely wanted it to uh, spray a solvent over the canvas. What for? Why, to dissolve away the top layer of paint and reveal what is undoubtedly a masterpiece beneath. We spray a thin, even solution over the whole area and in the morning, you'll see, it'll be quite gone. Is that the baby we're after? Yes. Now, quick, take it and let's get out of here. Please, before someone wakes. In the morning, you'll see, the man said. So what do we see? Curious. Most curious. It'll be quite gone, the man said. And he was right, too. Mighty good solvent of yours, Doc. I thought just the top layer was supposed to disappear. Poor old Doc. All that's left of his art collection. But why, Mike? Why should anyone want to steal a picture like that? Don't know, Professor. But it was certainly stolen. You can see where a knife has cut the canvas. Steindorf doesn't reply. Pity. And I thought that perhaps he might have thrown a light on this business. Maybe he did the stealing. Oh, really, Mike? Steindorf was hardly the kind of person to uh, uh, indulge in a felony. Well, maybe. And maybe not. The only thing is, it must have been kind of important if he went to the trouble of stealing it. It must have been something else about that picture. Something about that landscape and those mountains. I'll swear I've seen him before. Oh, Jory, please. You can't we not rest a moment. I have not had a moment's relaxation since we caught the plane at four o'clock this morning. You can rest when we get there. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't those the mountains? Uh, mountains? Oh, yes. Those are mountains. I can see that, you fool. But are they the mountains, the ones we're looking for? Oh, I hope so. Indeed, I, I hope so. But are you sure you can find these mountains, Mike? I think so, Jimmy. That's a pretty distinctive shape. And I know I've flown over it before at some time. All I have to do is go through all the flight plans that cover every trip we've made in the supercar. Maybe they'll find what's going on if I can find where it's going on. Uh, Hassler. Uh, Bud Hassler. Yes, an artist. A forger. Is that the only one you know of? Oh, so curious. Most curious. But then I suppose a forger is an artist in his own peculiar way. A forger? Of course, Doctor. Hustler, I remember. It was in the papers just after I came to this country, in 1929. Really? Uh, uh, my colleague appears to be uh, 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 familiar with the case. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you for the information. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, nice talking to you. And they never found the plates he used. I wonder, Bicker, do you suppose that's what Steindorf is after? Hey, Doc, Professor, I've got it. What, Mike? Those mountains. Looks like the sleeper range, some 20 miles across the Mexican border. We flew over them on that Amazon trip. Ah, yes, I remember. A curious formation resembling the figure of an incumbent man. Hence the name Sleeper. I remember too, Doctor. I remember it was around the Mexican border that Hassler was caught in 1929. He must have buried the plates there. But where exactly? Yeah. This must be the place. Oh, thank heaven. Not that I've seen it before. 
But somehow it's just as Hasler described it. And then uh, we start digging? Well, first, let's see the picture. We got to know where to dig. Uh, well, now, uh, the situation as I see it, gentlemen. <laughs> Hush, Mitch. I beg your pardon, uh, uh, gentlemen and Mitch. The, uh, the situation is this. Uh, here we have a, a sandy desert uh, purported to resemble uh, this picture here. Now, having in mind that March the 5th, 1929, was, according to the professor, the date of Hassler's capture, not far from this spot, and that this is the only legible date falling from the calendar here, we deduce that this picture holds the answer to the riddle. So, what is the answer? Well, I, I suggest the best plan is to um, visit the scene of the crime. Uh, we are sure to find uh, some kind of uh, pointer. You see? That cactus on the left of the picture, that's the pointer. I see. Uh, do we dig beneath it? Oh, no. That would be too easy. Hasler reckoned the cops might be smart enough to do that. So he used the shadow. The shadow? Yeah. Now look, it falls across the sand there, shaped like a pointing arm. And at the time shown on that watch face, 25 after 1, the shadow hand shows us where to dig. Ingenious. Yeah, Hasler was no fool. So get moving, huh? I'll weigh the canvas down with sand so it doesn't blow away. And you go take a look around for that cactus. Uh, what, uh, what me, uh, by, my, by myself? Division of labor, pal. I'm saving my strength for the digging. If, uh, let me see now. They'll be digging there, presumably, at the hour shown in the picture. Namely, uh, 1,325 hours. Yeah, and it's gone 12 already. Climb aboard, Doc, and we'll be on our way. Good luck, Dr. Beaker. <laughs> Ready when you are, Mike. Hold it. Doc's just coming aboard. Steady there. OK, Professor, all set. Charging fault, then. Five, seven, nine, 12,000, 14,000, 15,000. Right, interlock on. Charge starboard. Six, eight. 11, 13, 14, 15,000, Professor. Hit the lock on. Fire on. Fire two. Firing steadily, Professor. Doors open, and she's all yours. Selecting vertical takeoff now. Oh, oh Jody. Jody. You found it? Well, no, I... I've been right around in a circle, and, and the cactus just isn't there. What? Perhaps it died. Thirty years is a long time. Don't give me that, Jazz. It must be here someplace. Pilot to console, pilot to console. Do you have our position? I reckon we're about 90 miles north of the border. Console to pilot, 92.3 to be exact, Mike. And if we keep going according to the last flight plan, you should hit the spot with some accuracy. Oh, that was a nasty turn, Pilot. It, in fact, it gave me a, a nasty turn, too. Sorry, Doc. But we got to make time if we're going to beat Steindorf to the plates. Oh, I hardly think you need worry unduly about Steindorf. It, uh, it just occurs to me that uh, he can't possibly find the plates. What do you mean, Baker? He's got the canvas, hasn't he? The canvas, yes. But uh, not necessarily the picture. For Pete's sake, if you're so dumb you can't find it with your own eyes, then maybe the picture will tell us where the cactus is. Clean out the sand and let's take a look. Of course, Jody. Right away. No. 
Oh, no, I... I don't believe her. And so, I imagine Mr. Steindorf has found, uh, uh, somewhat to his chagrin, the effectiveness of my solvent. Well, we'll soon know. Time to lose a little altitude, I think, Professor. Hard job, pilot. Well, isn't that just dandy? First, no cactus, and now no picture. What? Well, really? It's not my fault. Of course it's your fault. If you hadn't unloaded it on that doctor guy, we'd still have it and the plates. Why, couldn't we just go ahead and dig anyway? Dig up a whole desert? If that's the way you want it, you stay. Me, I'm hitting the trail for home. Oh, you. Why couldn't you have been a, a plain, ordinary, fake Rembrandt? Console to pilot, your altitude is now 4,000. If you come down another 450, you'll be the same height as the sleeper range. Okay, Professor. Hang on, Doc. Here we go. Uh, wait a moment. Uh, there's a range over there. Uh, about uh, seven, uh, eight miles off. That's it. Cutting to half boost. If I were you, I would come in from a... A slight a southwesterly direction. Uh, that will, uh, mm, if I may coin a phrase, uh, put us in the picture. Well, it looks like the birds have flown, Doc. Uh, true, but um, without that which they came to seek, uh, uh, could we find it, do you suppose? Like how, for instance? Well, uh, uh, having deduced uh, during the course of our journey the meaning of the shadow at the precise uh, 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 time, all we have to do is to simulate a cactus. What? Oh, simple, my dear fellow. Uh, let me scrawl a few uh, calculations, uh, like the illustrious Archimedes on the sand. Yes, if uh, the length of the mountain shadow is, um, is proportionate to their height, I think it's uh, Ah, satisfactory. Most satisfactory. Uh, the cactus would have been about uh, your height, Mike. So if you would kindly uh, stand over there, uh, with your arms, uh, just so. The things I do for you, Doc. Are these really counterfeit plates, Professor? What are we going to do with them? Well, I think the Treasury Department would be interested in them, just as the police will be interested in Mr. Steindorf. Yeah, I don't suppose he'll be in the painting business for a while. Will you be sorry, Doc? Not at all. As a matter of fact, having observed that photographs are somewhat more durable than paintings, I'm thinking of giving up art altogether. Oh, hey, don't do that, Doc. I commissioned a painting especially for you. Oh, oh, really? Uh, what uh, kind of painting? swift as can be. Watch it flying through the air. It travels in space or under the sea, and it can journey anywhere. Supercar, supercar. It travels on land or roams the skies through the heavens' stormy rage. It's Mercury man, and everyone cries. It's the marvel of the age. Supercar. Supercar! Supercar! 
か！